Hey guys! I am here today to do a book on haul, and this book on haul is like split between like for sure getting rid of and like not 100% sure about. My boyfriend and I are going to go to Half Price Books on Saturday, so I'm planning on bringing these books there and getting rid of them there. So the first books are um, The Notebook and The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. I read The Notebook and it was very good, but I just don't see myself rereading it and picking up the last song. And if if my heart is like, read the last song, I'm just going to rent it from the library because I live like within walking distance of it. So I think I'm just going to do that instead. Uh, if at some point I get rid of these books and I'm like, wait, I wanted to read that, I'm just going to go to the library and pick them up. So the last song in the notebook by Nicholas Sparks are going to go. I have The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Didn't, I mean, I gave this book like three out of five stars. It was mediocre. I didn't find it to be super addicting or anything like that. I just kind of found it to be kind of bleh. So the Duff by Cody Keplinger is going. And then the next book you guys are going to be very mad about. And you know what? Let the hate rain down on me. I thought to myself, why have it on my shelf if I'm never going to read it again? So the only thing stopping me from getting rid of this book is this beautiful book cover. This book cover is amazing. I am contemplating getting rid of this book, but like I said, I live within like spitting distance of the library, so if I want to read it and pick it up again, I'll just pick it up from there and read it from there. So I think I'm going to get rid of this book. This book is going. Um, the first book is Water for Elephants. I've heard good things, and Reagan from Peru's Project loves this book, but I just don't see myself getting around to it or, like, picking it up again and trying to read it again, so I just don't see myself doing that for this book. So I'm going to get rid of this book, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, a book that is extremely loved on BookTube, and I feel kind of bad getting rid of it or saying that I want to get rid of it. I... I bought them on like half price clearance at, I bought one at Walmart that was like 50% off and then I bought the other one at Marshall's and it was 10 bucks. So I feel kind of bad getting rid of these books, but at the same time, I mean, I read the first book and it was nothing special. I don't even know what order these books go in. Don't, don't be mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Yep. I will probably never pick up the last two books. Let's be honest. I mean, I read Clockwork Angel and I didn't find it to be anything special. Next book. The only reason why I'm keeping this book is because I paid full price for it. It's the only thing stopping me from getting rid of this book. And I think I just need to take that plunge, say sorry for spending so much money on it, and then get rid of it because I mean I haven't heard I've heard I've heard good things about it from people that liked Divergent but I've heard not so good things from people who didn't like Divergent and I didn't like Divergent so I'm probably not gonna like this book and that's The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken I mean this book cover is beautiful I'm not gonna lie this book cover is very cool I just don't see myself reading it like any, any time soon. Any time soon. Again, spitting distance with, spitting distance from the library. So I'll probably just go there and pick it up and read it next time I want to read it. So these are all the books that I'm getting rid of on Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to comment down below for future videos you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!